So yesterday I heard Josh talking about how he gonna burn one of us at the stake if the Panthers lose and the Penguins lose at the same time. He said he gonna burn one of one of my brothers and one of my sister. He gonna burn me at the stake. Let me tell you something. You ain't doing nothing, Josh. Only thing you gonna do if the Panthers lose and the Penguins lose is pop a edible and cry like a little bitch. You ready? Here we go. Let's get it. I don't believe it. <laughs> We go. Hey, 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 hey. We all knew this is exactly how the season was gonna go, right? <sighs> Alex Lyon draws back in net. No big shock there if Bob wasn't feeling well enough to be the backup last night. So and I you know what? The way the season has gone, it wouldn't shock me to see him miss Columbus as well. Um same with Sam Bennett. I think I think we're going to roll the dice here a little bit with these two games. I know if Bob was well enough, he'd be playing, but this whole thing where we've had so many multiple guys getting sick and feeling better and being sick again, somebody needs to uh, spray some Windex in that locker room. Meanwhile, Penguins play the Predators tonight, who are still in the playoff hunt in the Western Conference, so they have something to play for. It'll be interesting to see how Pittsburgh reacts and the fact that we finally won a game and put a little bit of pressure on them. 4-3 uh, Panthers in overtime. We're going to overtime again. Jeez. Uh, All right. I guess that's what it's going to be. Who's going who's gonna to show up big tonight? I don't think it's going to be Ekblad because he's still mourning from blocking me on Twitter. Uh, Lundell showed up last night. Reinhardt got his goal. How about Duke? Huh? Come on, buddy. Come on. Dude, I, I mean, seriously, uh, I'm not asking you to, to, to get all your speed back. I'm not even asking you to pretend that you're going to back check. I'm not even, just just score, all right? If Maurice is going to keep throwing your ass out there in the power play, just stand there to the right, right of the circle. Just stand there. You don't have to move. Just wait for somebody to make a halfway decent pass that doesn't get intercepted by the defense and end up back in the other way in our net. Just stand there, wait for the pass. Please, put one in the back of the net so I can shut up. Because enough is enough, right? Let's get two points. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one Panthers after one. Now, we're out shooting them like 14 to 6 or something like that. Somehow, oddly enough, because it don't, we don't look good. We look like a team that... Played last night. Alex Lyon gave up a goal on the front. I guess it was the first shot on goal. Um, actually, it wasn't even a shot. I think it went off for either Verhage or Reinhardt's stick or skate unexpectedly. And he just, Lyon didn't quite have the whole corner of the net covered and it went in. Um, he's made some nice saves. He also looks a little bit shaky. I'm trying to think about the goalie that he reminds me of. I mean, he obviously is capable of playing some good games, but he's very um, very animated, very mobile. He doesn't look confident. Sometimes he looks confident, but then other times he's like, where's the puck, you know? Very, uh, very interesting goaltender. I, I can't quite place who he reminds me of. Meanwhile, Anton Lindell scored again. Um, he's got, he looks good. He looks like he's, he's, he's good. He's, he's come, coming of age in front of our eyes, at least for a couple of games. We're going to need it. Um, what else do we see out there? Uh, we're still losing draws. Montreal definitely has better legs. And there's no score in Pittsburgh and Nashville. Uh, everybody get your uh get your get your medication of choice ready because this fixing to be one of those nights. So 
So, it's 3-1 Panthers at the end of one. Excuse me, at the end of two. You ever remember something and there's really no reason why you remember it, but you better get it out and tell somebody or else you're going to forget it, but it's completely unrelated to the thing that you were doing? So Kachuk gets two goals, and I thought about the saying, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and it reminded me of a saying I made up the other day myself when I was inebriated. How many oats would Hall and Oats haul if Hall and Oats could haul oats? Let's move on to the third period. <laughs>
So maybe, hopefully, against the Jackets, we need to get this poor guy, you know, it's it's been, what, 10, 12 games by now, right? It should have been about 10 or 12 games by now. And um, he's got the one empty net goal, which I guess is better than nothing. What else do we see? Defense looked okay. Defense wasn't was was decent. Mark Stahl still is kind of scaring me. He's getting beat a lot. Um, they just look slow. Stahl and Gudis just look slow. Obviously, not overly young players. I'm definitely looking forward to next season with some younger, fresher legs on that bottom pair. Kirsten and Carlson, please. What else did we see tonight? Top line was okay. Barkov did his thing. Everybody did their thing. And knock on wood, that's two games in a row. We actually came out of the game healthy. So, my guess, and this, I have, I, I, I'm only basing this upon how Goldie's tone was. It was either Goldie or Randy. But he talked about uh, during the broadcast that, we really don't know when to expect Bob and Bennett back. So I would not be shocked if we saw tonight's lineup, including the Lion King, right back out there Saturday against the Jackets and then try to get everybody rested and recovered and whatever words you want to use for that final six games. That's, those are, we got a tough schedule the last six games. Um, it's, not, it's not easy. It's, it's doable, it's doable, but it's going to start off, if we beat the Jackets, that will be three in a row, and in order to get to four in a row, Tuesday we play the Sabres. So, we put ourselves in this position. It'll be interesting to see if Bennett can come back, how he looks. Um, if, if I know Bob is sick. But is he going to come back rested and rejuvenated because he's still getting that time off? That, that's definitely something we could use. But Lyon played, I mean, played, I mean, he played great. He, great. he played great. There's no way around it. So, you know, like I said, um, I'd have to go back and look. I want to I wanna go back and, and like, Talk to people who play with him or looked at the records. I want to know why he hasn't caught on as a, as a backup goaltender. I mean, he's now what five two and one with us, right? I mean, he's played well. I don't understand. Is, is he just now at thirty years old figuring it out? That's my point. Is he, he's thirty? He's had a lot of opportunities with other teams. So I'm just trying to find out, is he just playing well for us right now and he's got some other weakness that we haven't really seen? You know what I mean? All right, so Stu is running the chat for me, and we got two points. We will be back in the morning, and hopefully um, my migraine won't kick on again yesterday uh, like it did today because, you know... It, the first two weeks of spring, everything is blooming, and I always get these damn migraines. But I just, I'm just used to it. I'm just used to it. So, all right. Dear hockey gods, I've been doing this for seven freaking years. I've made over 1,500 videos. The only year I was able to do every single game was the year that the season had to stop because it was a stupid pandemic and I had to wait and then pick the season back up. We've made the play-ins and got to ass kicked. We made the playoffs and got to ass kicked. We made the playoffs again and got to ass kicked. Now, Previous to this season, I predicted this team would make the playoffs and win the cup. Now look, I had just about enough of this crap. How about you let something I say come true? Besides the thing that I predicted Ekblad would block me again. Huh? Throw, throw me a bone. Come on.
Let's win the rest of these games. And then let's beat the snot out of the Bruins. After that, it's all up to you. Just, just give me, just let me, just let us beat the Bruins. <laughs> Amen. Two points.